Hello traders, I'm Ignat Barsenka and this is Wave Trading. So let's start with dollar index where we got a pullback from this moving average line and a possible bullish impulse which could be the first wave inside this wave 5. So I am keeping my long trades and I'm going to buy more when this local correction ends. Also we got a correction on Australian dollar versus New Zealand dollar. So when this small correction ends I'm going to buy more to trade this wave 3. And we've got a new low on pound and I have closed two short trades here but I'm still keeping four trades and I'm going to sell even more when this possible correction wave 2 ends. I mean after this correction we could have another bearish impulse which could be wave 3. There is a quite difficult story on G Japanese yen cause we've got here possible zigzag which could be the first wave inside this diagonal triangle in wave 5. So I'm out of the market until this correction ends and we've got a small bullish impulse somewhere in here. Euro versus pound is rising and it's likely that we have wave 3 inside this wave 3 which is taking place on the 4 hours chart. However, there is another way of count which means we could have here a wedge and this is its upper side and the lower side is here. If so, wave 1 moves here and after pullback from this upper side there will be an opportunity to have a local correction. So if this pullback happens, I'm going to close my first trade. And there is a bullish moment on dollar versus crown and still interesting because we've got here a possible zigzag in this wave 2 and a possible impulse which could be the first wave inside the bigger wave 3. So I've got here just one long trade but I'm going to buy more after a correction which could be wave 2. And Turkish Lira is like just a rocket and I'm still out of the market here. Because it seems like this impulse is about to end, so bearish correction is coming. I'm still keeping my short trade on pound versus franc, and it seems like this bearish impulse is going to end soon, so I'm waiting for a local correction which could be wave 2. And when it ends, I'm going to sell more. And there is a moment on Australian dollar where we've got a bearish impulse here and a small zigzag here, which means we could have another bearish impulse, which could be wave 3. So I have just opened a short trade with a quite small stop loss, about 15 pips. And if we see here a bearish impulse, which could be the first wave inside this wave 3, I'm going to sell more. But if this correction moves higher, I'll just catch my stop and be out of the market. And I have one long trade on gold, which I opened here when I see a small bullish impulse and a local correction. I'm not going to open more trades here, I'm just waiting for an ending of this wave 5 and when it arrives I'm going to close this trade. And there is a very difficult wave count on oil cause we've got a flat here in wave 2 and a possible another flat here in wave B. So I'm out of the market until we see a small bullish impulse here which could be the first wave inside this wave C. And I've just opened a long trade on Dow cause we've got a triangle here which could be wave 4 and also there is a small bullish impulse which could be the first wave inside this wave 5. So I'm just waiting here for a new high. I still don't have trades on Pepsi shares but I'm going to buy if we see here a small bullish impulse. I'm still waiting to buy McDonald's so I'm just waiting when this wave 2 ends and we see a small bullish impulse somewhere in here. I'm keeping my long trade on HSBC and I'm going to close it soon when we have here in wave 5 a complete impulse structure. And Facebook is amazing we've got a pullback from this moving average line and there is an opportunity to have an extension in the third wave so I am just waiting for a correction to buy more and also I'm going to increase my position during this possible wave 3 inside this wave 3. There is a very interesting moment on April because we can have here wave 5 inside this wave 1 which means wave 2 is about to start. At the same time there is an opportunity to have an extension in the third wave and that's a reason I'm keeping my long trade. I have two long trades on Bank of America 
where we've got a pullback from this moving average line, which means there is an opportunity to have another bullish impulse in this wave 5. So that's all for today's video, have a good day and profitable trades, take care, bye bye.